We've been looking at a lot of straight lines in this chapter. Um, and what if I told you that every straight line that you could possibly draw on the Cartesian plane looks like this? y equals mx plus c. So this is the equation of all straight lines, any straight line, and m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. As an example, here is the equation of a straight line. And, um, you know, once you get more experienced as a mathematician, you can look at that and just see it in your head because you'll see which part is the m, the gradient, and which part is the y-intercept, the c. m is the coefficient of x. It's the number before the x. It's what x is being multiplied by. So m is the number before the x, what x is being multiplied by. What is the coefficient of x here? It's 3. So m is 3. It's the coefficient of x. And c is the constant term. It's the term that uh, doesn't have an x in it. c is, hmm, what's the term that doesn't have an x in it? It's negative 2. The term includes the plus or minus sign. So this isn't just 2, it's negative 2. The term, the constant term, includes that minus sign. So the gradient is 3 and the y-intercept is minus 2, negative 2. Let's do another one. Uh, this one, the gradient, remember the gradient is the coefficient of x. So what x is being multiplied by? I'm going to rewrite this one just a little bit different to look like that. I'm going to move, swap these terms around. I've got one term here and another term here, right? And I can swap the order of those terms. I can move terms around within an expression. This term is 5. Is that positive 5 or negative 5? It's positive 5. So I'm, I'm going to swap these around. It will still be the same, but I've just moved this negative 7x over here and the positive 5x5 5 over there, just to make it easier to read. Because now it will look the same as this format here. The gradient, m, is the coefficient of x. x is being multiplied by, what's the coefficient of x? Negative 7. And c is the constant term. It's the term that's by itself. So the term that does not contain an x. I've got a term there and another term there. Which term does not contain the x? This one. So c, the y-intercept, is positive 5. You could also just write it as 5. would also be fine. This last one looks a little bit tricky, doesn't it? Because it doesn't have an x term at all. Uh, you can think of this. I'm sure we'd agree that negative 3 over 4 is the same as 0. Take 3 over 4. This here, 0 times x, is nothing. So this is 0, take that. So these two are actually the same, but at least this one looks like it's in that format. If this step confuses you and you're not sure how to get from here to here, you can just think of it that, well, this does not have an x term, so m, as a number, is nothing. It's zero. There is no x term. So the gradient, the coefficient of the x term, is zero. Okay, so there's one term there. The constant term is the term that does not contain an x or a letter. The constant term, which is the y-intercept, c, is this one, negative 3 over 4. So now I've got my gradient and my y-intercept. I'm going to leave this, this here for another video, um, but you can see how if we have an equation, we can get the gradient and the y-intercept from it. The next step is to draw it to see what it looks like. All right, and I will see you in that video when you're ready for it. Bye.